Hello and welcome to Maths by SAS. This is my third lesson on introduction to set theory. These lessons are equally important for D2, D4 students and the students who are preparing the CI examination and the students of 8th, 9th classes of PTP board. In this lesson, I will discuss the different methods of expressing a set. There are different ways that in which we can write the set. The first type or first method of the writing of set is the descriptive form. What do we understand by the word descriptive form? If a set is described with the help of statement, it's called the descriptive form. Like we can take the example n we know n is the symbol for set of natural numbers and we can describe the set as set of natural numbers or set of solar mass that start with j or set of vowels or set of tall boy in your class here we are giving the description of these sets in form of a statement now coming to the second type or second method of the writing of set that is the tabular form if we list the elements of a set within the braces uh, and separate each element by using the comma, that is called the tabular or roster form. For example, in the previous example, I told you I, I have described a set, set of vowels in form of a sentence. If I want to write that set in form of the tabular form, what I will be doing, if you recall my previous lesson, you can remember that we must have to mark this uh, sets with the capital letter and then we have to use the flower bracket to describe the set and elements of set must be separated with the help of comma as the question says there's a set of vowels so we have to recall that what are the vowels we know a e i o u are vowels so in this example we have uh, expressed the same set in the tabular form coming to the third type of set that that is the third type of method of description of set that is the set builder notation in the set builder notation what we have to do we have to choose some common characteristic of the elements of that set in set builder notation a set which is described by using the common property of all elements is called the set builder notation for example I have a set of even numbers with me that is e equals to 0 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 so on instead of writing this set in this form in the tabular form what I can do I know that this set is containing all even numbers so I am choosing a general element x x such that x is an even number in this way I've written I've given my message the same message in form of the set builder notation i hope you are clear about the three methods of writing of sets that is descriptive tabular method and the set builder notation method and you will keep these methods in your mind for the understanding of next lesson please watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much